Hi everybody and welcome back to another of Tim's Tech Corner. Today we are going to be dealing with an application for the PC <coughs> called BlueStacks. BlueStacks was an application that I'd been following for a little while. I had heard about it uh, quite a while ago, I'd say maybe about a half a year ago. Applied for the beta and waited and waited and waited and finally did get some indication that the beta was going on. Received an email to go ahead and download the BlueStacks beta. And unfortunately the link didn't work. It said something like invalid tracker URL. So I tried it several times. Still didn't work. About a month or two later I got another email about the BlueStacks beta to download it. Same thing. Emailed them saying, hey, can't get the tracker to work, can't get this thing to download, and nothing ever happened with it. Basically faded off into space. Just recently, uh, within the past several days, found out that BlueStacks is actually available now. <clears throat> and I've been looking forward to this particular application for quite a long time now. Now what BlueStacks is, is it's an application on your PC that allows you to run Android applications. So now, I find this piece of technology uh, amazingly handy because there are so many things that you can get on Android mobile platforms that are just really cool to have a PC version of. And, you know, you have some games and everything like Draw Something and Gun Brothers. You know, yeah, you can go to Facebook and play Gun Brothers there, but, you, you know, you have Draw Something you have the mobile versions of Words with Friends, you've got uh, things like Fruit Ninja, uh, you know, things like that, weather applications that you can do. Now, here is the BlueStacks window over here. It's got a pull-down similar to, as you can see, similar to Droid OS's on phones. And you can bring it up and down. Here is the, <clears throat> the main screen over here of BlueStacks. I don't think you'll be able to do any wallpaper or widgets with this particular application. And it does seem to be running what I'm going to guess is basically a gingerbread backbone. I'm thinking it's pretty much 2.3.6 for Android. It does not seem to be ice cream sandwich. And here is how I happen to find that one out. The Time Warner Cable app can do live streaming video for ice cream sandwich and when you try to bring this up uh, and it authenticates over here see it says needs Android 4.0 or higher uh, one bad thing about it is this is one of the apps that uh, has actually not worked for me I can get the guide as you can see the guides coming up but it does not interact with the DVR I could actually change the channels on my Time Warner Cable DVR with this particular app when it's loaded on my other devices. Uh, for this reason, I use it somewhat frequently. However, it does not seem to communicate from here within BlueStacks. So uh, I've got several apps loaded. I've got the Amazon App Store. I've got an alarm clock app. This one is also on the iOS. It has weather on the iOS. It does not on the Droid version. And you can see it's it launches. And if you want to go into the settings, this button down here is the settings menu. And this is the exact same stuff you see when you're on the Android. If you click the left mouse button and hold, it's equivalent to dragging your finger uh, across an Android display. Here's the back button, which will take you out. Uh, you can do things like run a benchmark. A single click will actually activate an application, so you won't even need to double click. You'll have to uh, get used to that. And it comes preloaded with a couple things like this Clouds and Sheep, Defender, Documents to Go. Uh, I added Dropbox and Evernote. You can launch Task Manager over here, which I added, and you can get rid of any of the other things that you've loaded. Now I know it says gallery and widgets are pul or, uh, gallery and pulse over there were widgets. I'm not really too sure if a widget's going to work on this yet because I don't exactly know how to get into that kind of setting. Uh, if you click down here, you can get a snapshot. 
this is your home button. Uh, hitting the menu button here on the home screen doesn't actually do anything. If you go to settings, you'll come up with a couple things like the Cloud Connect, which will allow you to push an app to your phone, change language, keyboard, accounts. Here is where you can uninstall some applications and you can change some of the locations. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to install an app and you can see what that's like. Basically once you have BlueStacks, your computer does know what an APK file is. So if you get an APK file from anywhere on the web and double click on it, BlueStacks will take over and will actually install it. So now I just installed a application that I was going to deal with in a future video called Ambiance. When we bring up Ambiance, now this is a, a paid app that I extracted the copy of. You can see here is a, a, a sound therapy related application. You have new, you have what's hot, and you can just pick a sound, hit download, and it's going to download, and give you the ding. And there you go. Here is the Ambiance Droid application running in BlueStacks. If you listen closely, it's not skipping. Sound performance is pretty good. And you have everything that you would have on your tablet or your phone. You've got your volume. You can pause it. You can favorite it. You can set your timer on it. can go back and get a, another one. Lucid Dream is a pretty good one. I like this one. This one's actually more music than sound. So really, I just, I'm so thrilled to see uh, this technology of being able to run Android apps on your PC. I've loaded the Super Nintendo emulator that you've got for Droid. I don't have any games listed to it, but as you can see, it actually comes up. Haven't really tested the performance of it yet. Uh, I do plan to if I can figure out how to get into that data structure, play around with it. I'm now going to install a really popular application called draw something so I'm going to install that and we'll see how the performance of that goes so I've installed it and there it is so I'm going to pause the video for a brief few moments while I go ahead and log into it okay and here we are with draw something up and I'm now currently logged into it now I'm holding down the left mouse button and I'm dragging the screen. As you can see, it's just like doing a fingertip press. We'll now check out the performance of it. So as you can see, it's performing pretty good. I haven't actually tried to draw one on this yet. Mostly been doing it on my HP touchpad that's running Android OS. But this gives you the ability to get into your draw something right here at your PC. Now what the BlueStacks will do is it will actually start suggesting some apps that you can do along the uh, the sideboard over here. So it might see that you've installed Draw Something and suggest a couple of other games that you might like. Now we'll go ahead and see how fine-tuned it is to uh, draw on a PC. We'll go ahead and watch this move real quick. And then we'll see what it's like to actually draw using BlueStacks and see if it's a little bit more precise than being on a tablet. Kind of looks like a top hat. Not too sure where we're going yet. So there we go, single clicks on the letters down there work pretty good. I'd say it performs a little bit faster on my HP touchpad now. If I were to click here, uh, the virtual keyboard will come up. Looks just like a gingerbread keyboard. We'll go ahead and back out of it.
and it's connected to my Draw Something account, so it knows the colors that I've purchased and everything. And uh, let's see how fine-tuned... It does actually look fairly fine-tuned over here, so it does look like uh, it might be a little bit crisper to work with this than on an HP touchpad. So here is the Blue Stacks beta. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, actually beta 1, and it's a really enjoyable app. Here's Weather Pro. It's currently showing the weather in Raleigh. I have a, another weather app loaded that you can see. Now this would be nice to see if this could be a, a widget that we can place over here, but I have no idea how to actually get to doing a, a widget setup over here. And it comes pre-installed with several apps, one of which is this uh, mobile market. And it pretty much acts like a... Uh, a really good Android operating system. If you go to the mobile market, probably there was one that didn't actually do here. It's the, it's the one I'm looking for. So here you go. Here's a market. You can get some apps from here and some games from here. We'll just go ahead and pick one. And there you go. You can just download it and I'll install it right over here to your Blue Stacks. We'll go ahead and just pick a random game and hit download and see what it does. Because I haven't actually loaded something from here yet. It does appear to be up here. Just like you would see on an Android phone or tablet. There's the weather app displaying the temperature up top. Now one thing that I've noticed is this little weather app is giving me a lot of notifications down on my system tray way more frequently than it would give me notifications on a mobile device. So that's a tiny little bit of a bug. Alright, so it's downloaded. And here you can see it's pretty much acting like you would see on any other Android device. It's downloaded, you can tell it to install. It's installed to get a little system tray uh, pop-up that Carnivores has been installed. And there it is. I have no idea what this game is like. I've never played it. I just wanted to pick something random. Now, it remains to be seen what things will and won't work with this particular uh, Android to Windows emulator, essentially. But so far, it's seemed pretty good. And one of the things that I was going to do in the future was a YouTube video on several sound and ambiance or ambiance and, and sleep apps that I've come across that I really like and another video devoted to the ones by a company called Tesla Software that produces the AmbiSci uh, applications that you can get on the iOS and the Android operating system and now with BlueStacks here this kind of gives me the ability to load it in BlueStacks and fraps it and show it this way rather than uh, trying to pull it the examples off the phone. Well, this seems to be stuck loading over here. Might be stuck. Might be just taking a while, but we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can't back out of it here. And then let's go ahead and go to Task Manager. And if it's still hung up in memory, let's kill it. So there you go. There is the Blue Stacks application player for Windows, plays Android operating system games and apps. Um, hopefully they will eventually bring this up to Ice Cream Sandwich and maybe let us do some things with wallpaper and uh, widgets and everything. The sidebar with the recommended apps is really good because it allows you to find things that maybe you might not know about and kind of webs out a little bit for you and you'll come across some interesting things so there's lots of resources for getting APK files you can probably get vending.apk which is the Google Play market and get it into here on BlueStacks you can go ahead and get the Amazon One you can get things like Aptoid you can get things like Black Market Alpha 
and you can get your apps that way and essentially you'll have everything that you've got on your mobile device or tablet and you can have it right here the other thing you can do is if you've been building up a lot of apps and games on an Android operating system device and you've got it rooted you can get titanium backup once you have titanium backup you can have it back up your apps and it looks like carnivores is probably loaded which is what that sound is in the background let's aha I guess carnivores is finally loaded even though I thought I killed it um, looks like it's an open faint game over here let's see if it actually well looks like it'll actually work but we'll go ahead and back out for now yes um, so anyway as I was saying if you have titanium backup and your device is rooted have it back up your apps and in if you look on your SD card and you go into the titanium backups folder you'll find where all the backups are usually per app there are three files that are made and they're usually tar zipped if you find the zip file that mentions APK in the title of it and open it the APK file will be in there so all you need to do is back up your apps go into the titanium browser folder go into the zip file of the app you want that mentions APK in the title and yank the APK down once you get it to your PC you can bring it over onto the hard drive of your PC and then you can go ahead and install it here into BlueStacks so this gives you the ability to use web resources to get new APKs and download onto them and anything that you've paid for from you know the Google Play Store or the Amazon Store or any other way that you've gotten APK files you can get them onto BlueStacks by extracting them from your tablet or phone so I hope you enjoyed this particular video uh, this is a piece of tech that's interested me for a while if you have any questions feel free to ask in the video and check out the details section below and I will go ahead and link you guys to some resources where you can get APK files. Thanks a lot everybody and take care.